Hello, this is Mr. Off, and I want to talk to you about Tres Expertos. So this is your chance to find people who can help make you an expert. So the definition of an expert is a person who has a comprehensive, comprehensive and authoritative knowledge of or a skill in a particular area. Think of it as a knowledge worker. It doesn't necessarily have to be a professor at a university uh, or a staff engineer at a company. It can be someone that just works in the field, someone that understands what you're trying to do and has some insight for the problem you're trying to solve. So to get started, Let's see, we've already done the associations list, so you should have some information there, but look for associations and societies and fraternities. Also look at uh, article citations, uh, who are people that are contributing to the articles that you read, reach out to those people. So this is uh, time to make this project become more real. Because at some point, you're going to need help. You, None of you are an expert in what you're exploring, and you're going to need to have some advice and input from people that know things that you do not. But the question is, are they willing? Okay, A lot of people are excited. They're an expert in their field, and they love to talk about it. Uh, some may not have time for you. So... No is an acceptable answer, but keep reaching out to um, until you get some support. Um, take a moment to update your umbrella diagram. So at this point, to become an expert, you should have five associations. Let's expand the key term list to 25. I would suggest making this a glossary to help you build your vocabulary related to your topic. You have some graphics that you put in your brochure. You have some journal critiques that you've collected. You have a brochure that you designed. You have an attack plan diagram. And now we're reaching out to three experts. You need to contact and identify three people, three experts that are willing to assist when you call on them. I need to know, or you need to know who are they, what is their information, their email and phone number, and why do they qualify? What insight do they offer to your project? So what you're going to do is uh, prepare an email. Okay, You're going to include your name, the name of your school, the name of this course, what you're working on, that's your problem statement. Ask them if they are willing to help, and you need to keep it professional and personal. And I've printed an example here for you to consider. So your deliverables to me, team member emails, your problem statement, the list of experts for each expert, who are they, their contact information, and why are they an expert. To get a 75 on this major grade, you simply will email the list and send the emails to me also. So email your three experts. If you get no response, it's a 75. To get a 100 on this, you need to email it. And then send me or produce copies of the emails that you get back that verify their assistance to you. And now we curtsy and say the end.